Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a year-end recap on how our sixth year of homeschooling went. If you're new here, hello, my name is Erin. I'm a homeschooling mom to three kiddos and we live in Pennsylvania. Today I'm joining in a collaboration with Daveen from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. I will link both of their channels down below and also I will link the playlist down below. So go check those out. Um, say hello to Devin and also to Shauna. Thank you both for hosting today. So we just finished out our sixth year of homeschooling. I almost can't believe it, but it's true. I say that every single year. Um, I also say the same thing every single year that this school year flew. I almost can't even believe that we are in summer break already but we are. We um, completed our year-end evaluations and everything went well. I will turn in all of that paperwork next week. So that's exciting and always a fun time. We are now on summer break and we are enjoying our time. So today I just wanted to recap and um, let you all know how the year did go for us. I posted our curriculum picks at the beginning of the year. I will link those videos down below if you did not watch those or if you're interested in uh, the curriculum that we did use for each of my kiddos. My youngest completed preschool this year, and then my middle completed third grade, and my oldest completed fifth grade. If you'd like to know what we used for our full curriculum, I'll link those videos down below. Today, I'm going to try to keep this uh, kind of a shorter video and not go into too much detail. So if anybody has any questions about anything I mentioned or anything that I missed, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. So Eden, my youngest, like I said, completed preschool and I have my notes here. So if you see me glancing up, that's what I'm looking at. Um, there's no way that I would have been able to remember everything. Um, I did go back in and I watched my beginning of the year videos. So I'm hoping to kind of touch on everything that I did talk about. Um, so my youngest, Eden, she completed preschool. We used Easy Peasy Preschool for our main curriculum. She completed the whole thing. She mastered all of her letter sounds and her animal friends. So that was my goal for the year, and she did accomplish that. We used this letter flashcard notebook throughout the whole year. And this little sticker here, she put, that's her completed sticker. She went through and uh, stickered all her books that she completed. So I showed this in the beginning of the year. Um, this was just a little flashcard notebook that I made for her letter sounds. And she was able to go through all of them and list all of the letter sounds and names. So I was really excited for that. And because she mastered that, we did move on to a book that I had purchased for her to start next year. And that was JDA's Elemental Phonics Level 1. We did go through the beginning couple pages of this and we got the up to the two two letter blend sounds and then she got a little bit um, held up on the the smaller words, the three letter words. So we just then went back in and we went over the two letter blend sounds and we will pick up at the three letter words at the beginning of next year. So she did really good with that. I was really excited for that co-op this year for her. It was a good first year. Her, I had initially registered her for the preschool class for co-op. Um, I wasn't quite sure at the beginning of the year whether to put her in preschool or K through two. After thinking through it, I went ahead and registered her for the preschool class just because it was our first year and I'm not really one that pushes levels to move up super quick. So I registered her for the preschool class and she had a wonderful preschool teacher that came to me a little a little over halfway through the year and she just really felt like Eden was ready to move up to the K through 2 class. Um, so I went ahead and made the decision to move her up to the K through 2 class and it ended up being a good move for her. It was a little bit of a hard adjustment for a few weeks, but she ended up finishing out the year in the K through 2 class. And she did wonderful and she learned lots of new things and made many new friends, which was wonderful for her and for us as a family. I believe that's uh, the major recap for preschool. So now let's move into third grade recap. Zoe is my middle daughter who just completed third grade. And most of these that I list, we either completed the whole course or we followed them through to the end of the year. Um, let's see. So easy peasy language arts three, the good and the beautiful handwriting, 
the good and the beautiful health in the human mind, easy peasy physics and chemistry, and easy peasy modern history. We completed and followed those through to the end of the year. Now there were some lessons here and there that we skipped over and then towards the end of the year, um, because these courses, most of these courses are 180 days, um, towards the end of the year, I always kind of have to pick out the lessons that I want to finish out. Um, but for those courses, we followed through to the end of the year, her handwriting book she completed, um, the health unit we completed together as a family. And then for music and art, those two are the ones that kind of, especially those towards the end of the year, I kind of have to decide what, what I want to touch on and what I want to make priority. So for those, we ended up completing those at the end of the year. And the one that we didn't complete that got put to the side was the easy peasy reader that I had mentioned at the beginning of the year. Um, because she was in a little house on the prairie literature study group in co-op, we made the decision to set the reader to the side. And it was just, it would have been too much to just ask of her to do all of that reading. Reading is the topic that she needs the most work on and that is really a chore for her, I, I could say, still at this point. She does enjoy it, but she has to work really hard to complete it. So just felt like the reader was a little bit too much for her for now. So we set that to the side and focused on her literature class for co-op, and she thoroughly enjoyed that class. The teacher is wonderful, and she just made it such a fun class for them. And a lot of the reading we ended up doing together as a family, which was really sweet. Um, my son was also in the same class, so we ended up doing a lot of that reading all together. So those were fun memories um, from that time. And for a piano, she ended up switching from using the One Piano app to Hoffman Academy. And that was a good switch for her. And we're still doing Hoffman Academy throughout the summer here and there um, just to kind of stay on top of those skills. And her first year of co-op was wonderful as well. It was really a good fit for us as a family. And we plan to continue into that next year. And I believe that was all for Zoe for third grade. Easton is my oldest. And again, he just completed fifth grade. And the same for him with the, a lot of the similar courses as Zoe. We completed or went to the end of the year with uh, easy peasy profits with the Bible, um, the good and the beautiful handwriting, the good and the beautiful health and the human mind, language arts five, and easy peasy math five, level five and six. That became challenging and hard for me to teach this year, um, but he did good and he followed it through. We did switch it up a little bit online, offline, depending on the day, depending on the lesson. Um, but yes, that math is starting to get pretty challenging for us. Uh, easy peasy modern history, easy peasy physics and chemistry, easy peasy spelling. He actually completed where I had started him at in the spelling course. He ended up completing to the whole course. He finished out the whole thing. And we did end up starting on spelling skills through Evan Moore, level six. We'll move into this again at the beginning of next year. He only started this and got, I think, two weeks of the lessons done. This seems to be a really good fit. And because he finished out the spelling course through Easy Peasy, um, decided to move on to this for him for next year. So he did start this and seemed to enjoy it and do well with it. And let's see, Easy Peasy Spanish. He is still going through that. We did pause that probably about three quarters of the way through the school year. Um, and just kind of focus on other things that were priority to finish up through the end of the year. And since um, a second language is not, it's not required of us as homeschoolers in Pennsylvania, that just kind of got um, set to the side for now. But we will pick that back up next year. He is going through the one app for piano and doing really well with it. And again, for him, the one thing that we really pushed to the side was the easy peasy reader that I had talked about at the beginning of the year. Same thing for him. Um, he was doing a lot of reading with his little house literature course in co-op, and it just was too much on top of everything else we were doing. So we set that aside for now, and we'll see how that goes for next year. And for him, co-op, again, was a wonderful first year. 
um, we completed it out good and strong and made lots of really good friends and met lots of new families. And it's just really a good, a good fit for us. It's a good mix of social and academic elective time for us. And we are really thankful that we got connected with the group and we look forward to starting again next year. And so, yes, that I think is the main topics for us that we, the main things I wanted to touch on throughout the school year. Um, one other thing I did want to mention was in my beginning of the year video for Zoe, I had mentioned that we had won a free trial for teaching textbooks for her for math. And um, because we started that about a month into our school year, she didn't complete level three all the way to the end, but she's going to work on that throughout the summer. And it went really well for her. She really enjoyed it. The lessons are a little bit long compared to the easy peasy lessons, but she's able to do it independently and she really did grow a lot. So we're going to continue in that for her next year. And um, I did want to mention that because that was something that I had touched base on at the beginning of the year in her video. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, our evaluations are done. We checked all of that off. Everything went well. I will turn in those papers next week to the school district. And I also plan to turn in our homeschool papers for the next homeschool year at the same time. So stay tuned for our curriculum pick videos for next school year. And a couple of other things that we did that were super fun this year, um, we took a trip to SpaceX at the beginning of our school year in October, but we were able to get our yearly family photos in front of the Starship, and that was a super exciting trip. Um, I almost can't even describe it in words. Um, I'll post our travel vlog down below if you'd like to see that video. That was just an amazing trip and just to get our family photos in front of the starship and then we got home and about two weeks later it it launched off and now is no longer <laughs> um it was one of their test flights of course their tests that they're still doing starship flights and it was just a really amazing trip i don't have time to go into all of that here so if you'd like to watch our video i'll post that down below and then we also took a trip just a few months ago to try to catch the eclipse. We went to Batavia, New York. Um, unfortunately, it was very cloudy and we were not able to capture any photos of the eclipse, which was a big bummer. We were able to experience the total darkness for about four minutes, which was mind-blowing. Um, that was amazing. And the kids also got to see Niagara Falls for the first time. And so that was a really fun trip, even though there were some disappointing moments in that trip. Overall, it was just a great time to capture some memories as a family and the one we will never forget. So thank you all for staying the whole time if you did. Again, I will post uh, the playlist down below. So go ahead and head to that playlist and watch the other mamas that are updating how their year went. And I'll also link Shauna and Devine's channels down below. So hop on over and say hello to them. And thank you all again for being here, and we will talk very, very soon. Happy summer!